Hello and welcome to the mid-month check-in for the sign of Taurus. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for being with me. Taurus, in meditation, I feel like I was taken back in time, like pre-automobile back in time. I saw a, a vision, um, and, and this was at um, in the evening, late at night, darkness, in the darkness. I saw a young man ride up to a young lady um, on a horse, and it was in the dead of night. There was nobody else around. Everything was quiet. She got on the horse with him, and they rode off. And I heard, wait for me, I'll be back. <laughs> so I have no idea what this is. It's almost like they're, you know, like they're running away together. Is this some really sweet love story of, you know, two people who really want to be together and maybe families disapprove or something like that? I don't, I don't know what this is. But Taurus, let's take a look at what's going on for you. Oh, conflict. Whoa, what's going on? I thought this was going to be some really sweet Disney-esque <laughs> story. Maybe not. All right, let's take a look. Taurus, what do you need to know for mid-April? Horses. I don't know. Maybe horses are important. Okay, I heard one more time. bottom of the deck, man holding a coin. Okay, we have the sun. Envy. Journey. Woman holding a heart. When I see this envy card, it brings to mind wanting what we don't have, wanting what we can't have or we feel that way because we're tethered to something. I feel like all of this marks, you know, a brand new beginning, but this envy energy is really interesting because it feels to me like perhaps um, there is the desire for someone who's maybe, um, I don't know, on the way up or making something of their life. Um, th there could be an ex involved who's very envious of, change that's happening. I don't know what the vision was about, but it's probably going to come together. But hmm, yeah, wait for me. I'll be back. Okay, so let's take a look, Taurus, at what you need to know about this. Let's get a couple Journey of the Soul cards. I feel like this is, you know, maybe this is the I'll be back portion of the of the message journey someone has love in their heart for someone else and this is a new beginning whoa 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 okay we have beliefs interesting we have you know what appears to be an old book and a cross so it could be that um, religious convictions are being challenged questioned it came out in reverse i'm going to take it that way Haunted, reprieve, inevitable change. Oh my gosh, guys. Bottom of the deck, divine love. Okay, let's see what you need to know about this, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like that is independence being um, sought after. It could be that someone holds you in high regard. I don't know what this is about yet. Interesting. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mystery, just like the, uh, just like the vision. What's happening for Taurus Spirit mid-April 2024? The sign of Taurus, please. Mid-April 2024. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. Wow, I'll be back. Look at that. Wait for me, I'll be back. We have the world, the Six of Swords. 
the Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Death. This feels really challenging. It feels to me, Taurus, like something or maybe um, people got in the way of something you wanted, perhaps a connection, maybe through um, circumstances not of your choosing, a relationship broke up, there's been an ending, there's been something really challenging and you've had to work through whatever that challenge is, knowing that what you want is on the outside of, of you know, your grasp. It's, it's out of reach, or maybe you think it is. Okay. I think those were important to see. I'm gonna keep going. I think there's more in the deck. The world, the Six of Swords, what else? This could be travel. This could be literally you moving towards someone, maybe returning to someone after, yep. Is it supposed to be in reverse spirit? Right as I said, return to someone, and this is the return. Yep, eight, okay, sorry, it took me a second to hear that. Eight of Cups reverse, coming back. Somebody's coming back with a lot of love in their heart, King of Cups. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing this is a, a strong past life connection. We have the King of Wands. Wow, the wheel, fate. You, this was fated. You were supposed to come back together. Page of Swords and the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay. I think someone has their eye on you. You have your eye on someone. And I, I think that it, although we're not seeing galloping horses, I feel like this is indicative of uh, someone wanting to uh, bring something back together. Now, you, you know, there may have been some sort of family interference with this beliefs in reverse. Maybe someone is saying, you know what, I. I want to be with someone even if my family doesn't approve. It's almost like, okay, now I'm getting like a, something a little bit kind of Disney-esque, like, you know, you're, you're locked up in your, in your castle. You, you, your prince isn't coming. You can't have what's outside of the, the confines of these dark walls we have you chained to, and that's just your life, and you're gonna have to accept it. And I'm getting like a, no, no, I'm not happy with that. That doesn't work for me. Look at how, how red this page's face is, like anger, no. It's, it, you know, this could be someone who has, you know, very uh, traditional parents, a child who is a oh, child or a young person thinking, I, 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 can't, I can't live with that. That doesn't work for me. Maybe someone has had to walk away once and it's like, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to, see, rewrite the story. I'm going to rewrite the story. I need to, I need to do what's right for me. I need to go after what I love. Okay, let's get a few clarifiers. The world. This can speak to distance. We have a journey showing up. This can also be the end of a cycle. We are the world. Look at that. Unity coming together. Supportive people. This, this you know, I, I, I almost anticipated seeing this card, but I wasn't sure if it was speaking to distance or coming together. Maybe both. Okay, let's get one more. The world. The world. Wow. We have the two of wands, possibilities, bottom of the deck, the star. I feel like this is healing a connection, looking to the future. Wow. Those two just flew out. Strength and the ten of wands. Someone's held back. Someone's held back, but now they are moving forward, moving on. I'm going to put them back. I want to look at these six 
of Swords. What is that about? Six of Swords. Consciousness. The Lovers. I think someone has awakened to a connection, a very deep soul connection. I felt a very strong past life energy with this. There's a choice to be made. And I feel like the choice is made because someone's heart has opened to a connection, to their feelings, deep emotions, and deep connectedness. This could be a very spiritual experience for someone. <laughs> wow, the star and the tower. In, in succession, look at that. I love that. So um, I, I feel like this is a jolt. This is a jolt for someone and, and this, I just saw 1111. And this star energy is about healing. It is, it is perhaps the need to restore something that has been lost. Eight of Cups, wait for me, I'll be back. Eight of Cups reverse, the sun, <laughs> beautiful traveling. Well, you can't make that up. I might be reaching a group of you who are at a distance from someone you love, turning in the Four of Cups. Let's look at the King of Wands. There has been some deep introspection. Some Something may come to light, even if this is an epiphany that someone is having about, you know, what makes them happy. Wow, look at that chariot which is literally could be travel in the traditional sense this awareness energy though feels like um, you know a strong aha moment about a person about yourself patience what is the message that is being sent page of swords Eight of Swords, guilt in this deck. It came out kind of in reverse. I feel like this is letting go of any restrictions, entanglements, including thoughts that hold us back. Stress. What is the observation happening here? I'm almost feeling like, um, like it's, I just heard it's gonna take a miracle. It's going to take a miracle. Why, Spirit? What, what was that? It's going to take a miracle. The Magician. Well, that's manifesting. And look at this. The Empress. Creativity. It's going to take a miracle. Does someone feel, um, you know, powerless? Is someone trying to manifest a return? What is the holdup? What's happening here? Abundance. Money. It could be the money to travel. We do have a lot of travel energy with this. Completion. The world. Control. The Ten of Cups. Traveling. Past lives. Yeah. And there's that. The moon. I thought I did feel that. Um, I feel like someone is realizing that an opportunity could slip away if they don't take it, if they don't do something about it. Now, if this is about, you know, oneness, family, um, people who are close knit and, and there is some sort of break in that, uh, that could be what I'm picking up. I keep coming back to this. It could be that there is a concern about, I don't know, religion, culture, distance. Let's take a look at this King of Wands energy. Hmm. <laughs> could be uh, dealing with a Leo. We have the sun, um, different decks, but twice, courage, strength. Okay, we have moment to moment, taking things 
uh, taking it easy, taking things as they come. We have receptivity and success. Compromise at the bottom of the deck. It feels, it feels like someone has something to say that could change the course of a relationship. What is that spirit? I feel another one, yep. Please don't overthink it. That's this receptivity energy. Okay, now I'm hearing in the time between there was something I had to deal with, okay? Um, you may not know this. You may not have expressed this if this is you. Wow, my inaction is my action. Someone is having to deal with something and they may not have the words to tell you. There may be something that um, they feel you wouldn't understand or you feel this way. Would they be open to it? Oh my gosh. Wait for me, I'll be back. My heart has been broken. What else? I love you deeply. Have you moved on? Okay, this, there is, there is something separating two people and it could be distance. It could be money. It could be um, a choice. It, it, could, it could be that there's barriers that are unforeseen here, but something is about to change. Spirit, what do you want to say to Taurus about this? Your person is struggling and needs your compassion and understanding at this time. Oh my gosh, Taurus. The circumstance you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it. Release it. Be aware of people and circumstances in your way that serve as a test of your will. As you are tested, remain in a high vibration to show the world how brightly you shine. It's interesting because we have consciousness showing up. And I feel like if there is a dynamic that holds someone back, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Why? We are the company we keep. Are the people in your space healthy for you? Ooh, wow. How are you being guided, Taurus? Boy, the cards want to come out, but they're not interesting. How is Taurus being guided? in this situation. Okay, we have revelation. An important truth is coming to light. Passions, discovering what lights you up, leaving behind what doesn't. Oh my goodness. Your perfect place, the life you have imagined, magician, is yours. Relationship, home, finances, and joyful pursuits are coming into alignment. That feels like this. Reprieve. Bottom of the deck, new love connection. A brand new person is entering your life. Soulmates who are meant to find each other will. Boy, I'm, a, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm hearing lifetime after lifetime. This is a pretty profound connection for someone. I think the vision I was shown of the of the rider on horseback picking up his love and riding off together. I feel like this is some sort of recurring story for whomever I am connecting to. And I feel like, okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing like, no matter where you are in the world, you find each other. This is a profound connection. 
Wow. Well, they're coming back. If you haven't met this person, I, I feel like you know this person, but if you haven't met this person, um, you will reconnect in this lifetime. You're about to do it again. Wow, this is really powerful energy. Let's get a healing message for you, Taurus. I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. I think that this is about evaluating your own choices and what stands in the way of your happiness and whether or not you let it, right? Because this is about letting it go. Okay, Taurus. That's your mid-month message. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.